In this Rhino Grasshopper tutorial, we want to remodel this incremental linked, uh, which is inspired by Motors Art account in Instagram. Uh, we want to remodel this in Grasshopper. So, uh, first of all, you can download this example uh, file from our website, and you can see that if I just restart this, it's going to remodel that uh, links easily in Grasshopper. And I'm going to explain how you can do this step by step and produce the pattern. Uh, so uh, first of all, if you're new to Grasshopper and you don't know anything about Grasshopper, you can watch this uh, playlist up here. I will put it up there. It's about why uh, you have to learn Grasshopper, what's the difference between Grasshopper and other programming languages, and why you should learn it. And then we will, you can also watch the one hour uh, video tutorial about uh, Grasshopper for beginners. Uh, also, if you want to learn more about Grasshopper and step by step with additional lessons and advanced lessons, you can enroll in our course. Uh, we have lots of lessons each week, so you can check it out here. I will put the playlist up there so you can check that out too. Okay, before we uh, start this tutorial, remember to subscribe to our channel because we have uh, weekly free tutorials if you want to learn Grasshopper and uh, like this video so other uh, subscribers can see it too. Okay, before we start the tutorial, let's take a look at these uh, images I have taken from the video. And you can see that these points are starting to rotate. So this is the first frame I have captured, the second one, and as we go, this one is going to obviously help you to understand what's happening. So if, I, if we assume that there is a point here and draw a line to these points, uh, you can see that this is simply just a rotating of these points around a center and the degrees is increasing. So what we have to do is to rotate these points around the center and increase that rotation with a number slider. Uh, I'm going to do that uh, like this. So we have to go and uh, draw a line in Grasshopper and then divide this into points. So I'm going to go to the curve and uh, we'll start with this line SDL, start direction length, and put the bifocals plug in. The start can be at the center, so I'm going to just right click and set one point to zero and enter. The direction can be in the X direction, and the length can be just a normal. Okay. We can just name this L, and you can see that this line has been modeled. Okay, now the next part is to divide this line into points. I'm going to go to the curve and use this divide curve tool. Divide this into a series of points. Uh, we can just put a number slider. Maybe we want from 5 to 20. So if we decrease it, it has less points, and by this number slider, we can increase the points. Okay, the next part is to rotate these points uh, around the center. But before we get started, we have to get rid of this point, because if we rotate it around this center, uh, the first point will not rotate. Uh, we can do that by going to the sets, because it can manage the data, and if you want to learn, we have a complete section in the course. But for now, uh, in the sequence, I'm going to use the call index to delete one of the first ones. So I'm going to give this to the list, the list we want to edit. Now we have to delete the first one. I'm going to give a zero, uh, two forward slashes and a zero will give us a panel and give it to the index. Okay, let's just turn this off. And you can see that we will have these points without the center. And that center is because we have the start, so we'll turn that off. Okay. Uh, the next part is to rotate these points. I'm going to just say rotate. I usually use the rotate 3D because it's easily manageable. You can give a center and axis and understand, uh, understandable in the 3D space. So uh, let's do that. Give this to the geometry. The center of rotation can be the 0, 0, 0. But if you want to play with this to produce uh, other patterns, we can just give this a point from the Parms menu and give it to the center set it to zero, which is the correct one, but we can change it later. Uh, the axis of rotation is Z, that's why it's a zero, zero, 001, because 
we want to rotate it around the z-axis, right? And then we can give this a degree. Okay. I just want to show you how easy it is to give a number slider in Grasshopper and rotate these. So uh, the first one has to go like 10, then 20. So we have to use a series. If you don't know about series, we also have another tutorial about this one. I will put up uh, the video related to the series. But if you want to also learn uh, in a lesson and in the course, we have a complete section for this part. Okay, so I'm going to give that a start. So maybe we just give this a 2.5. The steps has to be the number of the points. So you can see that we have 17 points, and that is related to this number slider we had here. I'm going to give that to the count, and we will have 17 numbers in the series, which is completely right. Uh, if I give this uh, to the angle, you can see that this is rotating. Now we have to increase the angle easily. Uh, by a number slider. So I'm going to give this maybe from 0 to 30, two decimals, and turn everything off. But we can turn on the point. And now let's just take a look at this. You can see that this is increasing. Then we have to just increase this slider to more. And you can see that pattern. Okay, let's just uh, connect these points together with a polyline. So I'm going to go to the curve and use this uh, polyline to produce the pattern. And let's give the points some dimension. You can use the display. And in the preview, we have a cloud display or dot display, for example, if you want to just show these points. And increase the size. And you can use a swatch to give the colors. You can see that. And if you right click, you can use also blurry blobs or the fuzzy blobs. Okay. And that will be the basic of this animation. You can see that we can produce those patterns. The next step is to give this a, a timer. So it's going to increase by time and we don't need to increase it by hat. So I wanted to give you a quick overview of how we can simply produce a parametric art in Grasshopper. And it's really easy. Now what we have to do is to, let's just take a copy control C control V of this one and turn this off. So if you want to have a static and a slider, I'm going to just say rotation. Okay. To make this a timer, we can just uh, bring a number slider here. Let's just say this is the timer from 0 0.25 to 3.2 decimals. This is the speed. I want to define a speed here. Uh, now we have to just make this increase. So now what I want to do is to go to the params, put a number here, so it goes here, and then just connect a timer. Okay. And connect it to this. So what's going to happen, for example, interval 20 milliseconds, it's going to give you a uh, multiple uh, number for the speed in the output. So what we have to do is to uh, record these numbers and have a recording thing. So again, with the timer, we have the record data recorder. I'm going to give this here. And you can see that this is recording all of those numbers. As we can increase also the speed. The next part is to just uh, go to the math and use this mass addition to add all those things up to make it a timer. So you can use uh, plugins if you want to, but this is the most simple way you can make a timer. We can just restart that from zero. We can change the timer if we want to. And now we can give this to the step. 
So you can see how easy it is to make an animation in Grasshopper also, and we can increase the speed. And this is how beautiful and easy it is to make an animation in Grasshopper with just a simple number. Record those uh, the numbers by a timer, and at the end just add them up to make that timer-like. Okay, that was the tutorial of how you can make these rotating lines. Remember to like this video so other subscribers can see it. And subscribe to our channel because we have weekly tutorials uh, for those who want to just see how Grasshopper works and learn. Okay, see you next time. Bye.